guys welcome back to my youtube channel as i promised i said i would do um a halo top review because they sent me some ice cream so i want to share it with you guys i guess and i will see which one i think is the best oh so okay they sent me chocolate chip vanilla bean caramel macchiato peanut butter cup mm -mm. Oh, they sent me two peanut butter cups. Oh wait, one is dairy free and the other one is regular free. Or um, then they sent they sent me sea salt caramel, ban chocolate covered banana, and mint chip. But my mom ate all of that, so you could say it was good. Um, I think my favorite type of ice cream is probably mint chip. So that's probably would be my favorite, but then I also like cookie dough, so that could also be my favorite. But I told them if they could send me some a mixture of like dairy free and regular ones because uh, I don't know, just something, just something in some of these pins. Like I feel like I'm really sensitive to artificial sweeteners. So I can't have a lot of this or else like my tummy would hate me and like stab me. Okay, so the first one we are gonna try out is the chocolate cookie dough. Shit, I'm not good with this. Mmm. Mmm, that's really good. Oh my gosh, I knew that would be really good. I don't know how to do these whole reviews. I always watch people review stuff, but I don't know how to I don't know how to act. So this one was really really good. I like that one. Now let's try vanilla bean. I remember way back in the day, me and my friends used to go to Starbucks and have like that vanilla bean shake. Oh, I can't even think about having that now. Like, uh, I didn't even like it. I just pretended like I liked it because I wanted to fit in. Mmm. <laughs> mmm, it's good. I'm not much of a... Yeah, I like it. I like it. Oh, good. 8 out of 10. This one is probably like a 10 out of 10. Maybe. Because I like the little... Um, dough, little dough things, <laughs> cookie dough. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to try the dairy-free peanut butter cup. Let's see how it compares to the non-dairy peanut butter, or the original flavor. They have the little swirls in these too. Mm. That's pretty good. It kind of has like a different taste. Wait, let me try the regular one. Yeah, this one's better. But this one is also good. It just has like a different texture, I feel like. Kind of more... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like a grainy-ish texture. Kind of just how... All the other um, non-dairy, or like, yeah, um, kind of like the vegan protein powders. It kind of has like a, a grainy taste. But if you do have any good um, vegan protein powder thingies or like non-dairy protein powder things, you can leave them down below because I need a, I want to find a good one because the regular ones hurt my stomach. Okay, so now we're going to try the caramel macchiato. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's dairy free too. This one's really good. Mmm. I say 7 out of 10? No, this one was a 7 out of 10. The vanilla bean. This one's probably like an 8 out of 10. And the dairy free peanut butter cup is probably like a 6.5, I would say. And this one, probably like 
the regular peanut butter. Probably like a seven. I'm not much of a peanut butter fan. Okay, now the last one is the chocolate covered banana. I already ate some of this one's. Mmm. Mmm. You can really taste the banana ish. I would say 7 out of 10. I don't know, they're all really good. So, like, it just depends on what flavor you're kind of into. But I like Halo Top, and I'm so happy that they sent me ice cream because ice cream is awesome. So, if you want to find it at your local grocery store, you can. They didn't tell me to say that, I just wanted to say that. But 20 times better than Arctic Zero. <laughs> this is going to be the end of the video? I don't know. I guess I'll show you guys how I cook my salmon. <laughs> I don't know, okay. Okay, so right now I'm going to make some salmon and I decided to show you guys how I make my salmon because it turns out super delicious. So, I usually get these, ew, it looks really gross in this light. Uh, still looks gross. Well, anyway, I get the, the salmon from Whole Foods. I sprinkle it with some flaxseed oil and then also my favorite spices. Oh, we have a lot. I like to use like anything really, Miss Dash. I like using Himalayan salt, Himalayan pink salt, some poultry season, even though that's made for chicken, it's still good. Oh, rose, rosemary, I like using rosemary, garlic powder, garlic powder, onion powder, and um, fresh garlic, so. So I put the skin for for three minutes and then the regular side for one minute and then each side for one minute and then after that's done I put it in the oven at 350 for I think like eight minutes or something and it makes your salmon like really um what do you call it uh moist ew I hate that word um good. <laughs> I don't know what, what word you would use to describe that. But, um, yeah, so three minutes on the skin side, one minute on the non-skin sides, and yeah. Okay, so now when it's kind of like golden brownish, you want to ah, um, put it on a pan and then put it in the oven at 350 for like five minutes. You want to check it out five minutes, and then if it's still not then done, then more, obviously. But five minutes is good, or maybe less. I don't know. <laughs> it changes every time. Now here is the final product of the salmon, and then I also have some rice that we cooked. That's that has um, cumin cumin in it so if you want your rice more flavorful you could like add spices like cumin um what else is there I don't know I'll put it up on the screen <laughs> I forgot oh saffron um like more like Indian inspired dishes you could use saffron and cumin we just usually always use it and also cumin is good for a lot of stuff which I'll list the benefits right here because I don't I don't remember but yeah and then Oh, here's Kona. You didn't say hi. She got her hair cut and I'm so sad. She looks so sad. Huh? You're sad. I think she's like super insecure about her hair. <laughs> so that is dinner. And I will check in with you guys tomorrow maybe. Yeah. Hey guys. Okay, it is the next day. I have school in like 30 minutes and I don't want to go. <laughs> I'm going to go do algebra, or I mean call it, I'm going to math. And I don't get the lesson that they're teaching, so. <laughs> uh, 
And plus, I have my ACT tomorrow, and I didn't even study for it. <laughs> oh. I don't know why they have us do so much testing. I freaking suck at tests. Like, when it comes to it, I, like, completely forget everything, and it's so frustrating. And, like, comment down below if you guys are, like, have test anxiety or just, like, right when it comes to the test, you're just like, whoa, what? What is this? Super stressed out, and then on that, I have um, an essay due this Monday, and um, another essay. I don't know, I just have so much to do. Okay, I'm not gonna complain. Okay, today is good. Today will be a good day, and we will get through it. And I think that will just close off this vlog, or this little video. And I will see you guys in my next video. So please like and subscribe and comment down something below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.